Satan, we're all going to go through hardships. The devil's going to tell you some very false things. Do not ever give up. I mean, I was triple diamond, and I wanted to not get out of bed. I wanted to give up on my team. Don't ever quit. So, I mean, have, don't you. quit. Thank you. very nervous all the time. I was a gymnastics coach, worked great with kids, um, but I had great results in the product, so I started telling family and friends about it, and that was kind of my secret until I got to my peers, and then I had some people that wanted to start up with me, and over four years, made it to the top of the company, got a car, I mean, it was like the biggest thing I had ever done. I conquered a ton of going. And my new motto became, you know, if you feel the fear, that's your cue to do it anyway. And I was able to raise my kids that way. So um, I have the bravest kids ever. Um, my oldest was just like me. He used to walk with his hands in his pockets and his head down. And now he's a confident kid off to college. Um, during that time, about maybe seven years in, my business that I had built and I loved started to go backwards due to the economy. And for three years, I fought so hard to keep that business going, this business that made me who I was, this business that had my whole identity wrapped around me. And it was devastating, it was heartbreaking. And my husband was in sales at the time as well as part of Google. So that whole industry was changing. And together, we were sinking and we were sinking fast. Um, we had to move from our house and our um, city where we had our kids growing up in, away from all of their friends, and pull them out of a private school, and we self repoed our car, and short sold our house, and our boat, and everything that we thought mattered, which doesn't matter at all. And we learned so many things along the way, and I would never take.
Jeff, uh, so the finances are gone. You had to move in with one of your parents, is that correct? Right? Your parents. That's really hard to do, having to move back in home after you've been, if you've really had everything. Hard on a husband to feel like you're not providing well for your child, and that you made for your children, and maybe you've even helped to get them into this mess. And yet, the economy can flip on a dime, and we feel like we have the security, but it's really false security. And then on top of that, I, mean, I know your health was really a mess, which, you know, when you add that kind of stress onto life, our bodies are just not meant to work underneath that kind of load. So, Jeff, why don't you just describe um, when things were your worst, and you had to do some of the hardest things you ever, probably never thought you would have had to do. Why don't you just talk a little bit about when things started making a shift, some of the things maybe you learned. Because when we, when we go through really bad things, just, just what you said, Susan, you think it's the worst thing ever, but you learn some of the most amazing things. You know, that, that refining fire is really true. You, you, can't, you can't have the intimacy and the lessons that you can learn without going through those things. So maybe, Jeff, you could kind of take, continue on with the story from there. Oh, well, thanks. Um, thanks for having us, by the way, up here. And she's not so shy anymore, so. <laughs> I think a big part of this is personal growth. Uh, she went through a lot of the journey uh, already, but the parts and pieces that I always talk about is that we're not on an island. We've been through some pretty trying circumstances. Um, this is tough for me.
but give us a very quick recap of where you are today. Okay, well we, um, when things started uh, rolling with this and we knew that this was definitely going to be our way out, we were going to do it different this time. The game was going to be how much money can we put in the bank? How much debt can we pay off? And we wanted to send uh, our kids to college debt free. Um, especially listening to Rachel Cruz at conference last year. You know, the average kid comes out of college at fifty to one hundred thousand dollars in debt minimum, and then they marry somebody else with the same amount of debt. Our oldest just left for college a couple of weeks ago. We were able to pay cash for his first year at private college. <laughs> Our daughter is back in private Christian middle school, paid for all year, done. Um, we have four cars in our family. We have two teenage drivers, and uh, we paid cash for all of them. We were able to buy our son a new car. It's, it's not a new car. We don't buy new. Um, that's a waste of money. We learned. <laughs> <laughs> But a new car for him, so a safe car for him to drive back and forth to school. We've paid off over $85,000 in debt. 